Hi, and welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 7. This video presentation is going to be on Proposition 36 of Book 7. Now, in this proposition, we have three numbers, a, b, and c, and our goal is to find the least common multiple of a, b, and c. So how do we do this? Well, the first thing we do is using the methods described in Proposition 34 of this book, we find the least common multiple of a and b, and let that number be d. Now, if c already measures d, then we're done, and the lowest common multiple of a, b, and c would be equal to d. So that's what this proposition states, but we need to prove it. So how do we prove that d is the lowest common multiple of a, b, and c? Well, we do this by contradiction. So let us begin by assuming that, that there is another number less than d, which is a common multiple of a, b, and c. Now, if a measures e and b measures e, and the lowest common multiple is a and b, then according to Proposition 35, e will be measured by d. So again, just restating Proposition 35, if a and b measure a number and the lowest common multiple of a and b is equal to d, then d will also measure And this is where we come to our contradiction. We started with a number e less than d, and yet we have d measuring e, and that is impossible. So this here is our contradiction. So we do not have a number e less than d that is a multiple of a, b, and c. So therefore, d is the least common measure of a, b, and c. Again, because this led to a contradiction. Now, this method was when C measures D. Now we have to look at what happens when C does not measure D. So let's assume, again, we start with uh, three numbers, A, B, and C. We find the least common measure of A and B, and let that number be D. And C does not measure D. So what we do then is we take the least common measure of C and D, and let that number be E. Now, A and B measure D, and D measures E, again, because it's the lowest common multiple. So if A and B measure D, A and B also measure E. So E is measured by C, A, and B. So it's not only measured by A, B, and C, but this proposition states it is also the lowest common multiple of a, b, and c. But we need to prove it. So again, we're going to prove this by contradiction. So let's assume that we have a number f, where f is measured by a, b, and c. And again, f is less than our lowest common multiple of c and d. In other words, f is less than e. Now, if a and b measure f, and d is the lowest common multiple of a and b, then d also measures f. Again, Proposition 35 of this book. If d and c are measured, sorry, if d and c measure f, so c measures f and d measures f, then the lowest common multiple, which is e, will also measure f. Again, Proposition 35 of this book. So here we have our contradiction. We have a number f, which is less than e, but is also measured by e. And that's an impossibility. So our contradiction is that any number that is a multiple of a, b, and c cannot be less than e. So therefore, e is the lowest common multiple of a, b, and c. And Again, this is the method used, the two methods used, to find three, the lowest common multiple of three numbers. 